In this homework, use the application at this web address to explore a force dampened pendulum, which is described by these equations. This system was first introduced to you in the lecture for 3.1. Notice that this is very similar to the equations used in quiz 3.2, except for this term. This is the forcing term, which allows for much different dynamics. This is the application found at that web address. The dynamics of the system are governed by the equation I just showed you. The top left pane shows a physical pendulum. The top right pane shows a state space portrait. The bottom left pane shows the time series plot. And the bottom right pane allows you to control the different parameters of this algorithm. The purpose of this homework is to explore this new dynamical system and relate the physical, state space, and time series representation of the dynamics. While I'll only go over one of the problems, the mandatory one, the rest of the homework will provide a guided tour through these dynamics. The first problem has a start initial condition from pi over 4 with no initial velocity, set the drag coefficient or coefficient of friction as 0.1 and both drives to 0. That is, there'll be no forcing term in this initial problem. Once we set these, we click Setup and Start Animation. This should be very familiar to us. The pendulum is slowing down and closing at smaller and smaller angles at every iteration. In addition, in the state space directory, we see it slowly spiraling into the fixed point 0, 0. If you look at the time series plot, we see that the errors are very slowly converging down to what appears to be a fixed point. To speed this up, let's go ahead and stop the animation, put the max trajectory length to 5000, and generate a full trajectory. As you can see, the dynamics have in fact converged to a fixed point for this parameter set. Let's try the same experiment, but for a slightly different initial condition, and generate a full trajectory. We see that this is also a fixed point. Notice that 3.1 started right next to the unstable fixed point at pi, but since it was not exactly pi, it converged back to the stable fixed point at zero, zero. This has allowed us to answer question one. This is a fixed point interactor.